Welcome to my ChatGPT4 YouTube script example. This is going to be a very quick tutorial where I give you a prompt and of course you can go from there and then I'm going to show you the actual example we get. Given the fact ChatGPT4 is a little bit slower to create in terms of the process, what I'm going to do is read it over so that we can go over it, talk about it and go from there. Let's begin. So. Here is the prompt that I have. Write me a 1,000 to 1,500 word YouTube script for a video called The Three Best Tips for Increasing Your Sales Without Increasing Your Traffic. Here's what I would like you to include. So something I always talk about, the quality of the input is usually going to be directly related to the quality of the output. So the more specific you are, the more specific you'll get. You could always be very broad and see what it comes up with, but this is what I chose. You could obviously just change these out and put something else if you wanted to do that. First is going to be a catchy hook in the description. Of course, it's a great way to start off a video unless you're just talking about the title like I do, right? <laughs> tip one is split test everything. And I talked about examples of what can be split tested. Tip two is going to be offering bonuses to increase your sales, talking about the types of bonuses. Tip three is just simply going to be leveraging email marketing. There's so many directions you can go from there, but I figured I'd let chat GPT-4 figure that out. Let's hit the arrow button. Let's generate it. Let's kick back and let's talk about it because like I said, the speed's going to be a little bit slower. That's like the only downside to chat GPT-4, but the quality and the amount of content is significantly increased. So I don't think I can even read it as it goes because I'm going to read faster than it's actually going. So I'll go a little bit slower. We do have our title. We do have our intro. We have our host. Apparently I'm going to be the host. Obviously you can just, you know, delete that if you need. So are you tired of spending tons of money trying to boost your website's traffic but still not seeing the sales you desire? In this video, we're going to reveal three secret tips to skyrocket your sales without even touching your traffic. Make sure to watch till the end to learn how you can make more money without breaking the bank. Let's dive in. So description, discover the three best tips to increase your sales by leaps and bounds without needing more traffic. Get ready to watch your revenue soar. So tip number one is going to be split test everything. This is great. I'm not actually reading this, but as you can see, there's a little introduction and then it says, for instance, you can test and it looks like we're talking about headlines and going from there, we have images. That's something else you can do. Uh, you could do emails, you could do subject lines, you could do call to actions, you could do offers, you could do, hey, call to action, right? There's just so much you can do. Landing pages just overall uh, is a big one. You know, webinar registration pages, thank you pages. Uh, descriptions. So let's actually read some of this now that it's caught up a little. So, all right, let's jump right into the first tip, which is the split test everything. You might have heard of this as A-B testing. This process involves creating two different versions of a single element on your website and comparing the results. The objective is to determine which version performs better and brings in more sales. So we have headlines, catchy and compelling, just kind of skimming through. We have images. You can test different images to see which ones resonate more with your audience. Call to action buttons. Experiment with different colors, sizes, and wording to identify the most effective CTA for your audience. Product descriptions. We have pricing strategies. And remember when split testing, it's crucial to only test one variable at a time. Thank you so much. I say this all the time because it's true. Okay. So I'm glad it picked up on that because that is a very good extra little tip. So we moved on to offering bonuses to increase your sales. So the second tip is to offer bonuses to increase your sales. Everyone loves getting something extra, including bonuses with your product can make customers feel like they're getting more value for the money. This can be a powerful motivator for them to choose your product over the competition. Let's discuss some types of bonuses you can offer. This is perfect. This is exactly what we we're talking about because you could say just like just offer bonuses and you could just say like stop it there. But I don't think that would be enough. We needed a little bit more. That's why I put it in right here. Give examples. Or excuse me. That was the previous one. And then talk about the types of bonuses. So there we are. So we have free ebooks or guides. OK, it talks about creating it exclusive access to premium content. So if you had something that was given away before, maybe give it as a bonus for free. That's a great way to do it, especially if it's not for sale anymore. Okay, and we did have a network error, so we're just gonna keep going. Uh, let's see, we have extended warranties or guarantees. We have discount on future purchases. We have free or expedited shipping. And of course we have leverage email marketing. Let's just do regenerate response and see what we get. And so I think with the, uh, generating response, regenerating response, it's actually going to start from the beginning. That sometimes happens, like I said, with ChatGPT. Just overall, there's such a huge demand for it that sometimes that's going to happen. So what I'm actually going to do, it's going to write something similar. It's probably not going to be identical, obviously. So I'm just going to pause it. And once we get past like the email marketing section, uh, I'll continue the video and we'll go from there. So I'll see you in a few seconds. 
All right, so it finally finished and I am back. Okay, so we have our intro, transition, split test everything, gave some examples there, transition. This one actually offered transitions, which is pretty cool, uh, offering bonuses. And of course, we did have one more, so I'm glad this came up. Continue finishing the script. You'll notice how it literally stopped that this way, so it should continue on where we can you know, add to that. This way you'll create a compelling reason for them to choose your product or service over your competitors. So once again, I think I'm just gonna let this roll and once it finishes, I'll come back to it and we can read more. All right, so it had completely finished and it had a transition there. So it says leverage email marketing. Uh, it might seem old school, but it's still one of the most effective ways to increase sales without increasing traffic. Uh, and you can, I know in just kind of answering this and expanding upon it in case you're curious about it, a lot of people say if they're not capturing emails, you could just kind of put, you know, a lead box on your website or in specific social media platforms to do that. You know, you're not really increasing your traffic. It's just putting it where it's already going. So it talks about building your email list, segmenting it, crafting engaging content, optimizing your email campaigns, which is also a split test too, which I talked about. And of course, automation by leveraging it, people are going to be top of mind. Uh, your subscribers will be and so on and so forth. And of course, we have a conclusion. I will keep it there in case you want to read it. And what I did is copy all of this. And as you'll see, it is going to be 1018 words. Words. This is going to be the second one I created because this is the one that has everything. Like I said, it is chat GPT. There's just so much traffic with it and a lot of people using it that sometimes it will do that where you need to regenerate it, which is fine. I've grown to expect that, but this was a very uh, quote unquote quick tutorial. I thought it'd be a little bit quicker, but when it comes to using chat GPT for YouTube scripts with a specific example of creating a script that's about a thousand words. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, any suggestions, anything else related, that's what the comment box is for. My name is James. I hope you get some value out of this and I will see you in my next video.